What is love? At one point, I thought I knew what it was, that it is to be selfless, put others' needs and wants before mine, run to them when they need me, even if I'm with friends. My needs and wants, they were considered selfish. How dare I want to be my own person? How dare I have wants, needs, and dreams? Independence became a threat. To teach me a lesson, I would be ignored. I would be called useless, worthless, and a waste of space. I was a slave. Eventually it would just end. They would leave. Every attempt I made to have a relationship, the way I was treated, progressively became worse. Verbal, financial, sexual, emotional, mental, and physical abuse. Each time I was blinded by their kindness, initially. But then something changes, something breaks. I only knew one way to cope, only one way to numb myself so it wouldn't hurt so bad. I became trapped. The more numb I was, the easier it was to control me. I did everything I was told to because of what happened next. Congratulations, you're pregnant. Under different circumstances, I would have been overjoyed, ecstatic, but I'm not in a safe place. I'm afraid for not only my life, but now for my child's. As I'm further along, things just keep getting worse. This is not love. So if this is not love, then what is it? I know I need to leave. I spend weeks looking for the right place, far, far away, so that we can be safe. I will do anything to protect my baby. He deserves so much more. But then I realize that he's not the only one who deserves better. So do I. Just as I'm packing the truck to move hours away from the city, he comes home. And boy, is he mad. So mad that he took it out on the side of a dumpster. Just then, I see exactly what will happen if I stay with him. But I can't get away. With the support of my mother and sister, I was able to give him a choice, and he chose to leave. I was so happy, so alone, relieved, afraid, and very angry. But then I had my baby boy. I thought it would get better after having him. I thought there is no way this could get worse, but it got worse. My boy had so many health problems right from the beginning there was something wrong. He wasn't progressing. He was failing to thrive. Was it my fault? I feel trapped again. I can't do anything more than what I'm already doing. After he turned one, I was at my wit's end. I couldn't do it anymore. I can't be the mother he wants me to be, the mother he needs me to be. I'm a terrible person. I don't deserve such a happy, and beautiful boy who sees me as Mom, I'm given a new opportunity, a community program where women with children can get support and help through difficult times while still having their children with them. I grabbed onto all the help I could get. After dozens of appointments, doctors, series of tests, specialized appointments, we finally figure out what's going on with my boy. He had ear surgery, genetic testings, autistic screenings, and a new asthma regimen. A year and a half passes, and finally, finally we're in the clear. Finally we have what we need to succeed. Shortly after I start an upgrading program, a new path to better ourselves, and no more hospital visits, my innocent baby boy has a new lease on life. As I look back, all the turmoil we went through I realized the gift he gave me. I gave him life, but he gave me love. He taught me real, true love and what it isn't. He is a constant reminder that I deserve better, that we deserve better. And instead of staying the victim or becoming a survivor, I moved past that with him. I now survived. I look towards the future with this little guy. And no matter what challenges we face, we will face them together. 
Nothing will ever stop us as long as I remember what true love is. True love is unconditional.